Remember I told you about nerves? I can guarantee you that's just nerves. He's, he's dead, he's long gone dead. And that's exactly what happens. They'll, they'll go crazy and they'll stop and then they'll just a couple little flinches. But once again, good eye. You, you see now, I didn't even see him coming up over the hill. There, we got one. So that's successful. But uh, that's once again, it's just nerves. Huh. Just kicking. Yeah. And that's a gross. You want to hold him? Yeah. I mean. Sorry, did they have to be. So, well. <laughs> Grossed out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm here with Sean Reed, a buddy of mine. I work with him. Um, we just got a grouse. Uh, he's never been hunting before at all. Nothing. Never been hunting. Nothing. This is his first time. So, it's been a real, it's, it's an honor to take him out and talk about hunting and the, the ethics of it and everything else. And uh, now he's taking in the whole, you know, the animal twitching afterwards kind of thing, which uh, that's always part of the it's first easy. experience. And it's, it's always the part of the experience people don't like, but it is that one thing where you have to, you know, you guys all know. But, yeah. The young one. So he should taste pretty good. But that's it. Successful little hunt anyways. We'll continue on down, look for a few more now that we know they're coming out. So. Sounds good. All right, so we'll head on down, continue looking around and yeah. I think what we'll do is we'll um, head up this way and we'll probably take the same trails back down around now that we know they're on the move. So. Yeah, let's do it. All right. So this right here is Chaga. All this is chaga. This is chaga, chaga, chaga. Now this is deep into the core, so I wouldn't touch any of this. But something like this, that's all I need. Something like that, yeah, it's good. And I'll let the, leave the rest, because I like to come back and re-harvest it later. There's another tree down there with a little bit. Uh, okay, Maybe yeah. it's that one. Yeah, I'm seeing them. Yeah, there's there's a couple, like when, when you find one spot with chaga, sometimes you'll find other things. But, uh, so I know a few spots I come back every year or two and just harvest a little bit, but take that home, yeah. And uh, you're gonna wanna smash it and grind it up. That has one of the highest antioxidants in nature, in there. That is considered a super fungus. What you're holding in your hand right there is probably close to $30 worth if you went online to buy it. So we're gonna grab the grouse there now and uh, get a fire going. I'm giving them the whole experience. So we uh, got the grouse. We're gonna gut the grouse. I'm gonna show them all the parts of the grouse. I'll show you guys too. All the inners tell you a few things about the inside that some people may not know. And uh, yeah, we're just going to cook it up over a fire here and eat it. So this is how I, this, I'll just show you how I'll do it. Sure. This is a good piece, but I would bundle with that kind of stick. Anyways, grab some of that. Step on the wings, nice and close to the base. Grab the legs. <laughs> I like to grab the legs and the tail, because sometimes just the legs comes off. And then pull straight up. You can even, if you were actually in like a survival situation, you would pluck this. Mm. You want the you want you want the skin, but we're not in a survival situation. We're in a let's have fun situation. So. That's one leg. A 
That's the second leg. I'm gonna clean that out, so that's garbage. And the shoe's cooled off a bit, so it's more stayed on it than it usually does. So I'm just gonna show you here. When that animal, let me, let's just get the wings off. So that when this bird eats its food, it swallows it and it goes into this sack. Uh, some people call it a crop, some people call it a gullet. There's different names for it, but their food, when they swallow it, goes into this thing right here. I'm gonna pull that off. That's the edible organs right here. I'll just lay that there for now. This, you could make tea out of that if you wanted to. If you were in an actual survival situation, that grouse made you tea. And when I open it up, it's gonna look a lot less gross than right now. That's what he's been eating. That's what he ate before he got down on the ground and started to eat the pellets. So what's happening is he'll eat this, it gets stored in, in this thing, the gullet, crop, whatever you want to call it. I call it a gullet. So this will vary gross to gross, location to location, depending on what they're eating, right? In the, in the wintertime, you'll only see birch tips and stuff like that generally. So that gets swallowed, and when this thing is emptied out, that what I just threw over there drops into this. This is why you find them on the trails. It's because, pass me my knife over there. You can eat this as well, but most people don't, but I'll just show you. I'm gonna cut into it and open it up. It's basically inside is those leaves that he's been eating and pebbles. They don't have teeth, so to digest their food, they require stones. This thing sits together, like, and it rubs it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and grinds up these this leaf that you see down here into a pulp, so it's digestible, and it's full of these little pellets. And this is why they every morning and every night they get down on in the gravel on the sands, and this is what they're eating because they need gravel to digest their food. That's why you find them on the roads. And. I mean, it's it looks gross. What I'm doing looks gross. Smell that. It's it kind of smells ground up. Yeah, it just smells leaves. like grass. <laughs> For the legs, most people throw these out. I don't like throwing them out because I find it's a waste because there's actually a fair bit of meat on the gross legs. That's one. Most people throw that out. That's a, that's a whole chicken wing. There's meat on that. Just lay that there. That's the other leg. We'll wash it all up in the water here in a second. Uh, that's the gizzard. This membrane inside where all the stuff is on, this, uh, this actually just kind of peels right out. Right, there we go. See? Oh, gone. Garbage. And then you're just left with this bit of meat, but you have to treat it like jerky. Pretend it's jerky, because it's chewy as shit. It's, <laughs> it's the strongest muscle in, in not the strongest muscle, but it's most probably the hardest working muscle yeah. in, in their body, right? It's really, really tough, and it's a really, really dark meat. But anyways, I'll just put it there for now. And then you have the heart in that, which uh, I'm not going to bother with. There's, it's so tiny. And uh, But if you want it to, see that stuff. I don't know if you're interested in seeing it or not. Pile here somewhere. We'll do it. Mm, did I drop it? Trust me, they have a heart. <laughs> it's, it's somewhere, but we're not going to eat it. So I'm going to get rid of this bird. Let's get out of here. That's it. And what you're left with is your your breast so we're gonna clean this meat up here now and then we'll uh i'll take care of that yeah the meat does look a little red compared yeah. to chicken the breast looks similar yeah oh it's not very uh gamey i told you it was, i said he was a young bird there's not much of a smell to him at all sometimes you'll get it and you're like whoo it's like it's got a real musky okay, smell yeah. you don't smell much on that just the warmth of the meat What we'll do here now, I'm just gonna breast this thing out. So I'm just gonna cut right along that ridge. A little bit of wood grains never hurt anybody. So now what I, I'm doing this piece. 
Have you eaten grouse before? No. No, so this is the, even eating this is new to you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Try it. I mean, you don't have to like it. <laughs> Just because we came out and did this, like. But try it anyways and see. Cause... I mean, as far as meat that pretty much looks like chicken goes. This is as close. This is as as, as domestic as you're gonna get for hunting. Yeah. Grouse hunting. That would have been chilly. There. <laughs> That's a good idea. I overcooked that one a little bit, but should still be good. It actually is. <laughs> well, we're back, full bellies and everything else now, and I gave uh, gave Sean a, a few grouse from that I got the other day. So hopefully you enjoy your time. Yeah, man, it was we'll, a lot of fun. We'll do it again. Yes, sir. And it's his first time out, as I said earlier, hunting. So it was a good experience. Taught him a few things. Taught him a few things that I was taught by uh, by people uh, who who uh, mentored me and in, in being an outdoorsman and stuff. But uh, yeah, I pre appreciate you coming along, yeah, man. man. I had lots of fun. So yes, sir. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. See you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>